welcome to my kitchen. I'm waiting on everybody to show up. And we're going to make two things today. So, come on, let's go. Come on in. I've got uh, today's recipe is a fruit salad that includes mandarin, oranges, and pineapple. You're building the audience for me, Facebook. Okay, come on, people. I know it's a little bit late. It's a quarter to one. And uh, I got a late start. Uh, Sister Allison called me this morning. We went walking in the mall, so I got that out of the way. Um, I'm not going to start cooking until some few more come in. So come on, I'll just talk a little bit till we get there. I'm trying to figure out exactly how many calories are going to go into this fruit salad today. So I have calculated the cans. I've got the pineapple and the mandarin orange, the cottage cheese, the Cool Whip, and the orange. And I've got, uh, this is sugar-free, low-calorie, orange gelatin dessert so that will go in it also so i've got several ingredients that will go in it and i have calculated on each one of these cans exactly how many calories it is for ser per serving um let's see if anybody's in here yet it's spreading the word come on let's everybody join if not you'll be seeing this later so i have calculated the calories of the, all the ingredients once i get everything in this bowl well, actually, this bowl, because I'm using this bowl to drain everything in. But when I get everything in this bowl, all the calories that will be there is 1,845 calories. So once I get all those ingredients in this huge blue bowl that I bought from the dollar store, if you eat the whole bowl, you're going to eat 1,800 and something calories. Okay? And what I have not done is measure out by the cup. So I'm going to measure out after I get it going individual cups and put each cup in here and I'll count the cups and that way I'll know how many calories per cup and that helps me because I know just about how much I can eat a day now Gary don't have to worry about it he don't I don't count his calories I just sort of feed him what I feel like that will satisfy him and keep him encouraged as long as he's still losing weight he's sort of eating similar to me and I know about how many calories I'm eating. I try to feed him probably around 2,000 calories a day. He's a big man and uh, he's still losing weight so I'm not too worried about him. But if I go a little bit off, if I relax a little bit, I tend to start gaining weight. So I need to know how many calories per cup is in this fruit salad after I make it because I want to enjoy eating it and I can figure that into my daily amount. Let's see. Hi Brenda. I was hoping that Ann Works would pop in because uh, I will be making the tilapia after I get through with the fruit salad. And uh, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm going to start by draining my pineapple. I have a large can of pineapple. So I've got a bowl here so I won't have to run over to the sink. And I'm going to drain the pineapple juice out of that. I'm um, going to need one of those little spatulas to help drain that. I'm using my little handy dandy... What do you call that gadget? Colander. Yes, that's it. Uh, okay. Just sort of mash the juice out of it. I don't want the the fruit salad to be soggy. I don't want it to be juicy. I want it to be uh, a little bit better texture than all that juice. Okay. So we're going to dump this in the blue bowl over here. Okay. Now we are ready to drain... That was one large can, okay? And I couldn't find, well, I could find it. I couldn't reach at the grocery store the tall cans of mandarin oranges, so I got two. It's a little bit more than what I normally get, but that's fine. A little bit extra mandarin orange. Don't hurt anybody. Okay, and I got the mandarin oranges segments in light syrup, but I'm going to drain the syrup. Okay. So, really, when I count my calories, I imagine they allowed for that syrup a little bit, so... Uh, it'll be a little bit less than what we calculate, but that's fine. We can adjust to that. I'm not going to mash these up or chop them up or anything. I'm going to put them in there with the with the pineapple just like they are. So I got two cans of that. Come on, little guy. Get in there. Okay. And one more can of the mandarin oranges. 
wonder if this juice would taste good to drink. Okay. Mandarin orange juice and pineapple juice. Okay. I hear that pineapple juice is sort of healthy. Okay, we're going to just put this over here on the side. And pull up my blue bowl. So now I've got the mandarin oranges and the pineapple. It almost looks like uh, sauerkraut in there. That's the way that pineapple looks. Okay. What I'm going to put in next is the cottage cheese. I've got one tub of cottage cheese, 4% milk fat minimum. It's just a cheap brand of cottage cheese. It don't matter. If you like something different, that's fine. Just sort of be aware of how many calories it is and take note of it. I think the calories in this, the cottage cheese, the whole tub is 480 calories. But we're going to divide that out so it won't matter. Dump the whole tub in there. Here we go. The whole tub. Now this is just my measurements. Uh, actually, this is the first time I've gone with this certain measurement because uh, I want to make it a little bit easy. I like a little bit less cottage cheese, more Cool Whip. I love Cool Whip. That's my favorite food to just munch on. If you call it munching, just to eat on. I like it frozen. I like it thawed out. I like it on Jello. Uh, I like it on anything. I'll eat. I'll eat Cool Whip any time of the day. Okay, we got this tub. We're going to dump Cool Whip in that whole fruit salad. The whole tub. Get it all in there. Scrape the bowl. Come on. All of it. I don't like to cook complicated recipes. I like something to be easy. And if I could just dump a bowl in a bowl, mix it together like I'm doing now, it makes it a lot easier. And it's quicker too. So now we're just going to sort of fold up all that together. And I hadn't forgot the jello, or the gelatin. Sort of make it a little bit, you see that? You see a little bit of the fruit in there? Now, this is the good part. This is what gives it the taste. I got two boxes of the orange flavor gelatin dessert, and it's sugar free, low calorie. I think about 10, yeah, 10, uh, 10 calories a box. So that's not, and we're not doing anything but just pouring it, on, pouring it in here, sort of. Get it around there and the uh, extra box to give it a little bit more flavor. I hope I've got a... Oh, Ann, I'm glad you're here. I'm going to do the tilapia in a few minutes. Okay. Hi, Joy. Talk to Joy a few minutes. What are you saying about me, too? I haven't been keeping up. Um, Brenda Johnson share, just shared your video. Let them know. Oh, okay. Thank you. I guess, Joy, you, you said me, too, about that. That's great. I don't know. What did you say me, too, about uh, I just realized how to figure out how many's in the room. I look up there and I see four people are here. So that's great. Okay. Now we are just going to mix this up. And you can sort of see how it's... I would take a taste of this to just sort of see how it tastes. But I don't like to do that. I like to count my calories every bite that goes in. So we've got to, we've got to measure this out by the cup full. Because I have figured up. What I've got in this whole bowl is 1,845 calories. Could you eat that whole bowl? <laughs> that would be a day's worth of calories to some people. That would be two days for me. Okay. So I'm going to mix it up real, really, really good. I still may even mix it up a little bit better. You can see how pretty that looks. Oh, orange salad. Yes. If you like orange. Now, if you don't care for the orange flavor, I'm sure... I think you could get cherries for fruit or some other kind of fruit, and you could add the cherry gelatin. I know if you look online that you can find all kinds of recipes for this type of fruit salad, just whatever suits your taste. But what you do is you look at the cans and the ingredients, count all the calories, and then we're going to measure it out cup by cup. Okay, come on down, and we're going to see how many cups it is. It's probably going to fill this whole bowl. This is what I'm going to put it in. So, here we go. One at a time. Y'all got time for this? Okay. One. It may be a little over at times, but I'm not going to worry about it. Two. Three. If we can just get close, we're going to be doing good. May slosh it around. Four. Is that right? Am I counting right? Four. 
Are y'all counting with me? I done lost my count. Okay, five. Next. Five. Y'all help me count. Six. I'm hoping to get about 12. That'd make the calories low. Seven coming up. Seven. Uh, eight. Looks like I'm going to be doing good to get nine out of this. Nine. Am I on nine? Are y'all helping me count? If y'all helping me count, put in nine. And I'm ready for ten. And I don't, I think it's going to be almost a half there. But probably by the time I dump that into that. Where would my little spatula go? I lost that thing. There it is. I have uh, Valerie and Damon and Clayton and Sarah. Okay, yes, okay. And this is number 10, right, this cup? Because I was hoping I'd get 10. If I scrape this bow real good, I think I can get 10 in that cup. Okay, now somebody get a calculator handy and tell me. Okay, there we go. I got 10 cups out of that because some of them were just a little bit fuller than others. Get it in there as much as we can. Get every bite. Okay. Doesn't that look pretty? It looks delicious. Well, maybe not pretty because I hadn't cleaned around the sides. But it looks good. Okay. Now what we got to figure out, we just put 10 cups of the jello and uh, all the, the uh, ingredients. It's got pineapple, mandarin and oranges. Um, what else? Cottage cheese and Cool Whip. Okay, and that's a total of eight, 1,845. Somebody's got a calculator. Figure this out. 1,845 calories for this whole bowl. Divide that by 10. Okay? Somebody give me the answer. I don't want to have to figure it out. If you divide that by 10, what's the total calories per cup? Come on, somebody. I've got 10 cups in here. It's taking out a long time. Come on. What's 1,845 divided by 10? Am I going to have to go get my calculator? Okay, y'all figure that out. In the meantime, I'm going to put the lid on this. I should have already had it out there, didn't I? And we've got the fruit salad made. Okay, still hadn't got a number. So y'all can figure that out. 1,845 calories for the whole bowl, but it's got 10 cups in it. If you do, oh, 185, Sarah, you got it. You win the prize. Here's your prize. Hi. Okay, so it's 185 calories per cup. So, at the end of the day, if I wanted something sort of sweet, but, you know, I didn't really want to eat a 250-calorie bar of some kind, but yet I was want something that could satisfy and had the fruit in it and the fruit's healthy for you. It's, it's you know, it's going to have a little bit of sugar because of the fruit, but it's not going to hurt you. And you can just sit down and enjoy it and get you a cup full out for 185 calories. If you're not worried about the calories, eat how much you want. It's healthy. Okay. Now I'm going to take my phone. I'm on my phone today instead of my iPad because I knew I was going to be moving it around. So I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna move this and go over to the stove. And by the way, I do have my beans on today. I have a crock pot, crock, crock, crock pot full of pinto beans. And Gary and I are gonna eat beans and greens for supper. Now I was talking about that the other day. What I, I sort of stopped at Cracker Barrel when I was telling you about that. I think these are better than what Cracker Barrel makes. Don't tell Cracker Barrel I said that because I still love them. But uh, I enjoy imitating sometimes the foods that I eat when I eat out. So what we are, uh, what is 10% Joy? I see you commenting. Um, okay, you're saying 10% of 1,845. I don't know how to figure. I was bad at math because I'm dyslexia. And I would do everything backwards if I was figuring that out without a calculator. Okay, so that's why I wanted y'all to do it. 185 calories per cut. And if you only want to eat a half a cup, just divide that in half. So, uh, but if you're not worried about the calories and you don't count calories and you ain't going to count calories, don't worry about it. So back to what I'm fixing to do now. I went to Mecca in Stuttgart 
and ordered the tilapia, and it was delicious. If you ever go to uh, the Mexican restaurant El Canaveral uh, in Stuttgart, in DeWitt, they call it a Mecca. I think there's one here in Whitehall. They make a delicious tilapia. I'm going to move my phone over. Oh, by the way, if Larry's watching, I stuck a, a shelf man up there in my little uh, cabinet that don't have a door. So I thought maybe that would... <laughs> Would make him happier. He was bothered by the fact that I didn't have a door. You know, that's a whole other story. But there's my little shelf man today. Okay. I'm going to set my phone over here by the stove. And hopefully, I got it in a good spot where you can see, I think, set it probably a little bit better. Here's my skillet. I'm going to use my iron skillet today. And I've got five people in here. Some have left, maybe. Okay, are you ready, Ann? My iron skillet, you don't have to use an iron skillet. Uh, but I just like to use it once in a while. It's good and healthy to cook in an uh, iron skillet. And I've got my tilapia. Now, this tilapia I ordered off of the swine truck. Um, and it's 90 calories per four, per four ounces, which is about what this is. Okay, and so I've got my tilapia. Now, I did buy... I, I missed my swan truck Wednesday because I wasn't home, so I did go buy some uh, for later. I'm going to cook more up tomorrow, but for right now, I'm just going to show you how to cook for one, one piece, of, one tilapia, and then I went to the store and bought this pepper stir fry, which is sliced green, red, yellow bell peppers, and white onions. Uh, Ann was asking me the other day, uh, or today, why didn't I ever use onion? I do. I love, uh, in fact, I've got two right here, real handy. But sometimes I just forget or I don't want to take the time. But I love to slice them up and put them on top of a salad. Uh, but this is just a whole lot easier to just cut up and put this in with when you're cooking. And I'm going to add the, the uh, Ready Rice Uncle Ben's Brown Rice today. It's hard, healthy, whole, natural, whole grain brown rice. I do have another rice pilaf that I get from swans that I, I like, but it makes a whole bowl, and so this is going to do for right now. So, you ready to get started? Uh, we're going to sort of heat up the skillet, make sure I'm on the right burner. Yesterday I was cooking eggs, and I, uh, I just, that's what I was eating for supper or something, I think. I just started eating this scrambled egg, and turned on the burner, and stood here, and stirred, and stirred, and stirred, and never was cooking, I realized I had the wrong burner on. Y'all ever do that? Some days, you just have those kind of days. Okay, I'm going to use a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. This is just a cheap brand, but it works. And put a little bit in there, sort of. Oh, I hadn't even opened it yet. I just bought it. Okay. And put a little bit in there, just to cover the bottom a little bit. There we go. That's probably about three tablespoons full. Not bad, though. You need, every day, you need a little bit of fat. You need about a handful of nuts, something like walnuts and pecans, for your fats. That's good for you. It's very healthy. Helps your helps your body. You don't need more than a handful of nuts, but I'm nutty enough. Okay, I'm going to have to cut this off. It's frozen right out of the freezer, so I don't have to worry about thawing it out. It's going to cook right up. And my skillet's getting good and hot. Well, I'm going to rinse it off a little bit. Okay. And it's going to dry. Pepper this thing. Okay. Are we ready? Once I get it in here. Now. Got it. There we go. Well, I did that. Okay. And get my little spatula out. It's begin to cook, so I'm going to turn the fires up a little bit. I need my cavenders. Go ahead and sprinkle a little bit on the tilapia. And it's sort of like it's frying a little bit. I don't really don't want it to fry too much. So, I'm going to turn the fire down a little bit. Spray a little bit of this on top of it. The pan. Okay. And I turned it over, put a little bit more cavities on the other side. Okay. And while, while we got that cooking, I'm going to open this bag. Let that cook a little bit. And then on this, you squeeze it. Have y'all ever bought this before? Delicious rice. 
just sort of squeeze it up, let mash it up a little bit. Take the scissors and you're just going to bend it on each side. I'm going to put this in the microwave for 90 seconds. The calories on this per serving is uh, one cup is a serving, 190. I hardly ever eat, it, eat more than a half a cup at a time. So one cup is 190. Like I say, if you're not really, really counting the calories, it's no big deal. Uh, hi, Scott. I'm just now looking. Uh, I've got eight people. Good. Okay. I just figured out how to count people. I'm going to put this in the microwave. Cool. I didn't know the microwave was a picture. Okay, 90 seconds. And just let that cook. Okay, ready to turn this tilapia. Actually, I guess it's still a lot frying it. It's all right. Still cooking it. And that oil's good for me today. I, I'm, I really put a little bit more oil than I need to. But it's all right. Now we're going to go ahead and just put some of this by the handfuls in here and let it cook with it. And I'm going to turn the fire down. That's the way it looks. Turn the fire down. I'm back. And put a lid on it. So let it cook. Now, we'll just wait on it. I'm going to put this back in the freezer. This will be for later. Sorry, I'll have to call him back later. Uh, I, in fact, it was something I'd forgot about. Okay. Uh, let me see. Any questions right now while that's cooking? Uh, Janet says, this is great. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Uh, I went walking today. Got my, well, I really didn't get a whole lot of steps, but I got a few steps. I think I walked a little over a mile. And uh, I've got to work on getting some extra steps later. Sounds like the rice is done, so we'll go ahead and take that up and put it in a bowl. Okay, and when you get it out of the microwave, it's going to be a little bit hot. Here we go. Oh, be sure to touch it carefully. It's not too hot down here, but if you touch it up here, yeah, it burns. There's steam coming out of that. I want y'all to look at this when we cut it. Uncle Ben's Ready Rice. Find it over there where the rice section is. Now watch this. Doesn't that look good? Brown rice. That's going to go with my fish. There's my lid. Okay. Don't put anything on it. It's fine just like it is. Now, if you feel like you've got to have a little bit of butter, use the real butter. And just put a little dab in there and just sort of, but I don't, I don't do that. I just, it's good enough for me, you know, once you sort of get used to eating without all that extra stuff, you just get to where you enjoy the texture of the food. I think we need to check on the tilapia. Looking real good. Now it's just beginning, and it's just beginning to sort of cook. And, yeah, I need to turn the fire up just a little bit, let it cook a little bit more okay any questions while we're doing this we're gonna wait on that to cook a little bit normally I cook it in a non-stick skillet and it cooks a lot faster but I think this is gonna be a lot better I am going to take a bite of this when it gets done because the only thing I ate today for lunch was a protein bar because I was busy and I wanted to hurry up and get on here and show you how to make this so we just did the fruit salad and went into the tilapia. That's all I'm going to fix. This will be probably lunch for tomorrow because we're eating beans and greens tonight. I've got a crock pot full of pinto beans cooking right now. I put them on about 9 o'clock this morning. I soaked them all night. And I mean, I got a huge crock pot full. But I'm going to freeze, freeze one cup at a time in these little cool whip containers that I buy. And uh, I'll have them for the kids and for Gary and me when we're ready for beans and greens. And I went to the grocery store yesterday and bought all my fixings for the salads. Can y'all see me through the smoke? It's beginning to cook a little bit more. Okay, let's turn it over. You see that? Doesn't that look good? Oh, and it's beginning to put a little bit of flavoring on it. I've got the bell peppers and the onions. 
I really want to cook it until the oil is sort of out of it, so I'm going to leave the lid off for a few minutes. But that's looking good. Y'all can see that. Can you see? That's good. I'm anxious to get in my new house. I'm going to be living in Haskell probably by the end of this year. And uh, I'm hoping that I have a lot more counter space and hope I have a good internet connection so I can still do some of this. I, I have sort of found a new joy in this cooking thing. You know, I've always just mainly been into music and singing, and I'll probably do some of that later on. I love to have people over and just sit around the piano and the organ. And uh, I've got a piano and an organ and uh, got plenty of place where anybody wants to come over and join me some night. We'll just jam. We'll go live and enjoy singing. I don't know a lot of these new single songs they sing anymore. I don't want to cut this up. There we go. Turned it real good. Just sort of letting the juices of the bell peppers and the onions, and they're getting soft and cooking soft. Older people have trouble chewing, you know, if you don't cook something a little bit softer. Uh, oh, I was going to fix broccoli. I forgot about that. I need broccoli with this meal. Let me grab my broccoli while that's still cooking. I'm going to turn the fire down just a little bit so it cook a little bit more. I'm glad you reminded me of the broccoli. Okay, who's on here? Hi, Bill. He says, I'll be eating bologna sandwich for lunch. Don't get jealous. <laughs> I'm not. I like bologna, but I never did eat it that much. But I know a lot of people do. You know, I, I used to like bologna cooked, and, you know, you cut the edges around so it wouldn't puff up, and then the, maybe put ketchup on it and eat it with something. That was good. Oh, yeah, Brenda, you like the old songs. Yeah, you know, sometimes when I'm going to have just sort of a relaxing evening and singing and stuff, you might just come over. While I'm still here, I'm only going to be here another year. Let me get the broccoli. Okay, it's frozen. I ordered this by the big bag, like this, and the four bags come in, come in it and pull it apart. Four bags, like this. And this has got about four or five servings, depending on how much you eat out of it. Uh, put this side up. Don't even cut a hole in it or anything. You cook it just like that. And it'll be in the microwave for six minutes. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. I cook that in the microwave for six minutes. I'll order this off the swine's truck. I don't have to add anything to it. Now, sometimes when I fix it just for Gary, I'll add a little bit of butter on it. Uh, just to give it a little bit of flavor for him. But I love broccoli just like it is. But if you don't order from Swan's Truck, you can get this in the, uh, the uh, broccoli, like I'm cooking it now, in the produce department in the little bags. Sometimes they have broccoli and cauliflower together. Let me check on the tilapia. Well, every time I turn that fire up just a little bit, I mean, it gets to cooking, but it is cooking good now. Oh, yeah, looking real good. Oh, in fact, it's looking so good, it sort of fell apart there. I want to show you. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? That's my bite. Okay. And I think it's just about done. Look at that. You can't beat that in tilapia. It's almost sort of like the combination of between baked and fried because I put the oil in there and put it in the oil. But it's not the fattening stuff. It's, it's healthy. Okay, I'm just going to turn the fire way down now. Let that just sort of sit while we're waiting on the broccoli to cook. I'm sure glad I didn't forget that. Because we have Uncle Ben's rice. We have the tilapia with the bell peppers and the onion and the, the uh, broccoli. Okay, what are y'all saying now? Uh, Amy just joined. Okay, Amy, you'll have to watch this whole video to see we made a fruit salad and Mark just joined. So glad y'all are here. Anybody have any questions right now? Because I really don't know what I'm doing. I just sort of throw it together. What comes out, comes out. But so far, so good. It's been tasty. I've had one of those days that nothing seemed to be going right. Uh, Karen says she loves that playing and singing. She met me and rented Ammon's Music. Way back there, you know, I'm I'm really feeling my age these days because any you know I don't run into people that that remember Ren and Bren from years ago. All this new generation's coming along; they don't know who I am. But that's okay. Maybe I'll get famous on Facebook. 
<laughs> what I was going to say, Holy Gildo, oh, I think that is just about ready. I think it is. I think it is. It's ready to take up on a plate. I'm going to use a real plate today. Okay. What I was going to say while ago was, uh, my day just wasn't going good this morning. I couldn't get my hair. Have you ever had a bad hair day? I couldn't get my hair fixed right. I sit there and tried to put it up, and I'm going, what's wrong with me? So I finally got my hair fixed and went to the bathroom. Now, y'all are going to think, I don't know. I, maybe I shouldn't tell this. <laughs> it's a bathroom story. <laughs> I went to the bathroom, and I couldn't get my teeth in my mouth. And every time I put my bottoms in, and then I'd go to put my top in, and I'd open them, they'd fall out. I finally just threw them both in. So now I'm smiling. So my day's going better. <laughs> I don't know what comes over me when I tell things like that. But that's just me. If you was here in my kitchen with me, that's exactly what I'd be saying. <laughs> okay. We're ready to take up the tilapia. Oh, that looks so good. I want y'all to look at this. Uh, let's get it all. Let's get it all. <laughs> I'm one of those people that every time I say a word, I think of a song that goes with it. I got that, learn that in church. Every bite. There we go. Look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? Okay. Now, we're going to put, since I may be eating this later, I'm going to put a half a cup of rice on my plate. Uh, let me put a spoon where I can sort of... Okay. Half a cup of rice. Come on. Half a cup. There we go. Heaping half a cup. You know, they always say fat people knew how to serve because they'd give you good portions. Now, all we're waiting on here is the broccoli. And I need to get a bowl to put the broccoli in when it's ready. I'm going to put this over here. Let me get my little bowl for that. Don't need anybody to leave. I'll be right back. Y'all hear all that racket I made? <laughs> okay, this is my broccoli bowl. Got my lid to it. It's gonna be really good. Let's see. We got 55 seconds. That was a quick six minutes, wasn't it? Okay. 55 seconds, and we're gonna have a good meal. Don't you just wish you was here? If you was here, I'd let you eat this right now. Come on, come on over. I'll give it to you. Okay. I'm not going to eat it just now. I don't know. I might eat a bite or two. Okay. 34 seconds for the broccoli, and then we're going to be done for the day. Don't forget, always use the Cavenders. This is your commercial. Cavenders makes everything good. Uh, I used the oil today. I have not eaten my handful of nuts yet, so I will be shortly. Uh, got my big old fruit salad. Let me show y'all latecomers. I made a big old mandarin orange pineapple fruit salad and it's 185 calories a cup okay and if you want to know what all is in it go back and watch the beginning of the video my broccoli's done now it is very hot but I can still handle the ends of it we're going to cut the top off and be real careful because it is steaming steaming now I want y'all to look at this when it pours out look at that Oh, yes. And it is just as good as it looks. Look at that. Let's see. I'm going to stick my finger on it. Mm, can y'all see that? It's steaming hot, and it's good and soft. The fork just goes right in it. Okay, and I want a half a cup. Where did my measuring cup go? Measuring, there it is. Measuring cup. I want, I could eat a whole, did I tell y'all how many calories that was while ago? I could eat, uh, what did I do with that big, big bag? Oh, I think you're, we're talking about maybe 30 or calories or less on this. Here's a half a cup. I might go ahead and put, yeah, that's good enough. Half a cup of broccoli. There's not many calories in broccoli, especially if you don't put any butter on it. Now, I want y'all to see that. Doesn't that look good? Tilapia with bell peppers, onions, brown Uncle Ben's brown rice, 
and I got my broccoli off the swan's truck, but you can get it at any store, a grocery store, probably in the produce department, and get the kind that goes in the microwave and steams. Some of them you have to pierce, some you don't. Now, I'm going to use my little plastic fork to just see how tender it is. I'm going to take a little bite. Don't you wish you was here and you could do this? We're going to see how it is. Mmm. Mmm. Wonderful. Wonderful. Let's check the rice. Perfect. Now i got to chew that up. So, I'm going to put another plate on top of this. So, let that cool. And then, I'll put it in the refrigerator and save it for supper or for tomorrow for lunch. Because I'm really sort of counting on those beans and greens. I don't know if I'll eat them for supper or that. Maybe that. I'm sort of leaning in that direction. Uh, and probably if I do eat that for supper, I'll eat half of it. Uh, half of the fish. I won't eat all the, the whole. In, in fact, but that's only 100 calories for the fish. So, if I'm really got up an appetite and I may go out and work in the yard some, I've got a good meal already fixed. So, we did quite a bit here in just the last few minutes. I, don't, I haven't even kept track of how long we've been on here. But I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a good day. And I'm glad that you came into my kitchen. Bye-bye.